Dolphins Bears. Dolphins Bears. All right, let's get into this game. So, oh, Justin Fields. We did a video about Justin Fields in week three after they were two and one. It was like, is it time to bail on Justin Fields? <laughs> uh, the Bears are the worst, best team in the league right now, which they've only won one game since then. So we weren't necessarily wrong about that. But they're looking a lot more fun to watch. <laughs> the Bears, we were, we were really, we were really down on Justin Fields because he was not playing well. It wasn't looking good. They weren't trusting him in the offense. Uh, he was looking okay when taking off, but a lot of the throws he was making were getting intercepted, a lot of bad throws, some good throws, but like really just playing very poorly through the first like three weeks of the season. Since then, has he really turned this thing around. Very bad. Very bad. He wasn't making good decisions. Right? Like, And, and so now <laughs> the Bears fucking make a trade no, for yeah. Claypool. They send over a second, which seems like a lot for that bum asshole, but like... I just, I'm not a big Claypool fan anymore. Used to be, but uh, you just can't stand him. But it, Mooney's coming alive. Can't stand him. Uh, <laughs> he stinks. <yeah. laughs> if you have hate in your heart, let it out. I just wish he'd catch the fucking ball like a man, you know, instead of a little bitch-ass bitch. You he know? does be acting like a bitch sometimes. So, so You hit him a little triple B? But uh, Yeah. But, like, you know, Fields, I guess the question that I would have is, like, is has he earned – the, the roster spot next year on the Bears? You I know, mean, he's the starting quarterback for the Bears next year, right? Seems like he's totally turned this thing around. I mean, he only had 123 passing yards. but Three tutters. And the most rushing yards by a quarterback ever, I think. Yeah, yeah. Which and is crazy. Just facilitating, you know, like moving that offense. They did lose the game, which the Bears don't want to win. Well, but the Bears want to win. The Bears front office probably doesn't want to win all that bad. but Right. I mean, they're playing the Dolphins, who are a good team, right? Yeah, I mean, hey, it was, it was a good game. It was fun to watch. For uh, sure. It was, it was enjoyable. Tua was, was pretty good. Now, you know, but but Fields, Fields put on a put on a nice show. And like, like I talked about a minute ago with Zach Wilson, like the Bears kind of put this in, in slow motion, and it seemed like coming in that – you know, maybe they weren't so sure. This wasn't the regime that drafted him. Maybe they weren't sold on him. They didn't really help him out necessarily. And they, they kind of slow played a little bit. Obviously, the first game of the season, you know, the monsoon game against the Niners, they get him. Can't really take much from that. But then the next couple of games, you know, didn't weren't really letting him do anything. It seemed like they were really protecting him, really weren't trusting him. And now it seems like slowly they've kind of like been building an offense. Luke Getzey's never done this before uh, in the, at the pro level. And so, you know, you just kind of had a lot of things that the GMs knew. Like you just kind of had a lot of things going one way. And then I think you slowly start being able to build a little bit of an offense around what he does well instead of forcing it. Again, you mentioned still only 17 to 28. The passing was fine. There were some really, really good passes in there. No interceptions. Um, there were some not great decisions, but there was there was a lot of really good to take away from there. Um, but, you know, now you, you see them trade away some defensive players. But then you said, you know, I don't really understand trading for giving away a two for Claypool. I, mean, I think I think it's, that's, a, it's a decent move. It's, it, I, I don't like the actual move, but like I like the intention of the move. It's I think like that, I'm trying to help my man out. Yeah, Let's I, get him I, a I little think, bit extra. I think you got this thing built where. He's showing you enough. Hey, let's let's put another piece over here. Let's we're trying and let's see if we can maybe move this thing forward a little bit and evolve it as the season goes on, which I, I feel like they've done a, a pretty good job at. Um, and yeah, no, I was pretty. Least, yeah, it was uh, so ugly to watch for the first couple of games. And but I can respect the slow build of of what they're doing right now. If if it continues to, to move forward, if it yeah. if it just gets stale. And hangs out here because we just saw a nice little upswing for a couple. You know, they beat the Patriots. That was prime time. Then they just put a, a nice game together with the Dolphins. Moral victory. Um, and they could have won that game. There, there yeah. was a there was the, a, a bad maybe no call in there. And then Tua makes a throw at the end of the game that doesn't quite get to Waddle. Uh, we could talk about that in a minute. Um, but no, I think Fields has definitely earned earn the right to be the guy next year for sure. I don't think they can deny that at this particular moment, as long as we keep seeing movement forward. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing with fields on your dynasty team though? And in a super flex up in super flex. Sure. 
I mean, you, uh, what I'm doing is I'm I'm fucking keeping him if I yeah. got him. This is the whole reason that I drafted him. This is right. the whole reason why you want any of these guys who have him. legs. I mean, no, this is no, this is exactly why you drafted him. This is what you want to Trey Lance. Forty six points. Well, of, you know, of course not. This is an outlier, but in general, right. What he does. I mean, if, yeah. Sure. This is what you wanted Trey Lance to be. This is what Josh Allen can give you. This is what Jalen Hurts gives you. This is what Lamar Jackson gives you. This is why those guys, a lot of the teams who are winning championships in fantasy, have some of those guys on their team. Even Mahomes, with the, he was the leading rusher for the uh, Chiefs this last week. Mahomes has hidden yardage in every game. Rodgers used to have that. Rodgers uh, was leading rusher for well, the Packers. Yeah, he, he was, but he used to have it a lot more. Russell Wilson used to have that a lot more. Those were guys who Kyler. were cheat codes. For your game, Kyler Murray, not not great this year, but even him not being great, the fantasy points are still good enough. Uh, they're not they're not awesome. They're not as good as you would hope they would be with Kyler, um, but but they're awesome. I mean, you know, Burroughs had a stretch where he was good, but I mean, for the most part, the guys who I mean, look, you know, two had a nice game, three oh two and three touchdowns, and Fields. Even if you take away some of the rushing and what he did, he didn't play better than Tua necessarily playing the position of quarterback. Hey. But he played. He played. He did exactly what you drafted him to do, and and why you were so interested Fields in had Justin a QBR Fields. QBR so of ninety five point four. I'm fucking holding on to him, and I'm 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 excited. I mean, I'm excited that I got a guy that I feel like I can start every week, and the floor should be you know seventeen points, if especially if we could start seeing Mooney and Komet and and Claypool now moving forward, which we have. I mean, we've seen. Komet, there was, there was no passing going on. It was kind of like what I was just talking about with Zach Wilson. There was no passing going on. It was fucking ugly to watch. And how can you get in a rhythm? And, you, and every bad play that you have is so under a microscope now because you're not having that many that you're like, what the fuck was that? And now you're moving forward a little bit and Mooney is is making me feel better. You know, sometimes you start second guessing things like, damn, was Mooney really not that good? Now, right. Mooney's that fucking dude. Right. Like, he he roasted Howard in this, and then Fields threw a fucking dime yeah. uh, to to Mooney there. And then the usage of Komet's promising. He fucking bulled, bullied a guy a few times in that game. Big red zone usage when they did pass the ball. Um, you know, it was just really hard to defend. Herbert and, and Montgomery are both very good backs. Um, this offensive line playing better. I think this was Whitehair's first game back in a minute. Um, so, you know, the offensive line has been run blocking really well for a few weeks now, um, yeah. but you know, yeah, run blocking well for fields, not so much the other, the other, well, ones. they were like that Packers game. Like they were, they, they had run block pretty well for a small chunk. Like after the first couple of games, they were really hitting a groove of, of being just looking like a triple option fucking team where they were just, just run the ball, but you're running it for 10 yards every time. Like that Packers Sunday night game or whatever it was, they were just, yeah. they were down big and they were still running the shit out of the ball, but they were gashing them. Um, Twitter gets so salty when you're down big and you run the ball, but but uh, I, I like the the Herbert move or the uh, Claypool move is maybe you know a, a a peace offering of saying hey right sorry bro one here's, we fucked the Packers help. two we got you it's a not guy a lot, but they some were, help they were trying to throw bubbles and quick stuff to him they gave him a couple opportunities to get involved he looked just fine um, just don't throw the ball to him in the in your two minute offense I think he had just one catch <laughs> sure. but I back uh, to yeah. Mooney two Jimmy. Back to Mooney, though, like, you know, they're moving him all over the place. Like, he's playing, I think, on the year, like, half in the slot, Six half outside. Six targets, though, for Claypool. Six targets? Mm-hmm. And uh, a run. Um, not much to show for it, but. No, I mean, he, he just sucks. got there, but. No. Nah. Uh, look what TJ Hawkinson did when his first game with a new team. That's all I'm saying. I don't. That was wild. That fuck shit was wild. Uh, but, but back to Mooney, like, there's, them getting him involved, like, Moving him all over the place, like he didn't really match. He kind of stayed away from Xavier and Howard for the most part, till it got into the red zone. And he threw that touchdown pass, and Bobby Boucher came back at halftime. And Burm, Mud Dogs won the Bourbon Bowl, <laughs> like, uh, which was dirty. Like, there's not too many people doing that to Xavier and Howard. That shit was fucking awesome. Uh, and, and I think Mooney's got to be in your lineup now. Like, he's got oh, Mooney's be. been in my lineup for three weeks. He's been DL pretty solid as the third wide receiver yeah. or, or flex play if you need him. Once this offense turned around just a little bit and there was like some a semblance of any sort of passing game and that the, there was enough threat of Justin Fields in the run game that you got to respect this now. Mooney's been okay for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. So that's, that's fucking awesome, man. Anything else? Fields, quarterback 23 for the Bears. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, it's, it's Good great. Good for him because I mean, I, he's got the tools, he's got the talent, and he's starting to put it together. And they got some 
they got some picks, although they did send some capital away. But but then I think I think they got something when they traded away. Obviously, when they traded away, um, uh, Quinn and Roquan. Yeah, Roquan, and when they traded Cleo Mack as well too. Mm-hmm. So How about that Roquan? They're set up, and they probably got decent cap numbers as well. So uh, the Bears moving forward should be should be fun to uh, watch as long as, like yeah, I said, we can keep this thing moving forward. And it's I think not the just only a, concern a you have. The only concern you have with Mooney is if they bring in like a first round wide receiver. I'm not worried about it. I mean, you you can bring in a first round wide receiver, but Mooney's Mooney Mooney's I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Mooney's Mooney's a good two yeah. all day sure. long. Or or a one, I think. Uh, they do have their first and they have two seconds. They also have the Ravens second in their own. Well, so we traded one away. They had three seconds. What would worry you about Mooney is if you don't see what you just saw from Jalen Hurts. From one year to the next year. So this year, you're not worried. Hertz can support three guys. That was the concern coming in that Hertz wouldn't be able to. If you can see Justin Fields kind of make that yes. natural progression, we keep this yeah. thing moving forward. Then necessarily, we're not concerned about you know being able to feed. I think it's a. I think it's a. It's a minor concern, but it's a concern nonetheless. 